Hi guys, Mr. Lost Fitness here. Today's video, we are gonna be talking about the top five tips I can give you in order to get you started on your fitness journey. Let's get into this. So, my first tip is just get started. And this, you coming here watching this video is a start. Going to the gym to join up, that's a start. You know, cleaning up your diet a little bit, it's a start. The point, what I'm trying to make is a lot of people spend so much time procrastinating, thinking, oh, should I do it, do it, do it, do it. Just do it, like Nike, get started. Don't think about it twice, because when you overthink, you probably just end up not doing it at all. So just, just get started and just go, go for it, attack it. Um, that's definitely my tip number one, just get started is very important. Let's move on to tip number two. Tip number two, get rid of all the junk food in your house. When I mean junk food, and okay, not, not necessarily your fridge, I would advise you to do that, but if you spend a lot of money on your stuff, then don't throw it out. But when I say get rid of your junk food, I mean like if you have a cookie cabinet in your house, that's a problem. That needs to go. You should no longer have a cookie cabinet in your house after this video get rid of it whether you give it to your family members or you just throw it out in general you know this is going to be something that's going to be worth your time you know worth your money if you spend a lot of money on your cabinet get rid of it throw out everything you do not want to have these things inside simply because the fact that you see it automatically makes you want it like i don't know about you guys but that's how i am if i see a cookie or something in my sights you know obviously i've developed my discipline over the years but i'm just saying back in the day if i saw it and i was like Pst, <laughs> demolished whole packet not one not two the whole packet so don't have it in your house and then when you the thought of like if you really crave it you know and you're like oh i need it yeah go get it you know what i mean go get it you know even then just the fact of going to get it going to the shops you might think you know what i can't be bothered it's not worth it i don't want to get up and you end up not buying it but if you really do really need it you end up going to the shops and buying it and i'm just, that one time is not going to really do nothing to you you know what i mean i would suggest you know wait to him 10 minutes see if you still want it wait another 10 minutes if you still want it um, and if you do that twice that's 20 minutes and you still want it go get it um, and just get it out of the way so my third tip is don't go too hard or you will crash and I, i'm serious you know you're probably thinking wait don't go too hard should i go hard a bit no don't go too hard you know that expression when they say what goes up fast comes down fast this is true um with fitness as well it's about the journey, the long term. I'm one of the people, the reason why I made this channel in the first place is because I want to talk to people about long term, think long term. Don't just do this for the quick fix. Because what, like I said, whatever goes up fast, comes down fast. You want to, I want, I want people to be healthy throughout their lives. That's, that's the message I'm trying to give out. So don't go too hard or you will crash. It's tip number three, simply because I see, I see a lot of people out there, you know, doing these quick six week diets and 12 week diets. They lose a ton of weight not fat, a lot of weight, and then within a week or two, boom, they've gained all that weight that they've lost back once they've done their event or whatever. Um, and all this yo-yo weight is not good for you, it's not healthy, you know. You've got to take your time with this, which is gonna lead on to my, my fourth, fourth, fourth tip. Um, but, you know, you need, to, you need to take it slow. Don't go too crazy, you know. I advise you to go to the gym, like, at the beginning, I would say, when I, like, clients and stuff, I would tell them to go to the gym three three times a week at the beginning at max you know do full body three times a week you are good to go after that when you start falling in love with it then you can start taking it up a notch a bit and increasing the amount of time that you go to the gym so don't go too hard or you will crash is it you know let's move on to tip number four tip number four is take your time and be patient i can't stress this one enough this is why it's in my top two um, you you need to take your time it is vital when you're in tune with yourself and you tell yourself you know what I know this is gonna take me time but I'm willing to work for it I'm willing to put my body and my mind through this and develop this discipline and you know be happy be feel good you know wake up feeling good you know there ain't no better feeling than waking up and feeling good and ready to conquer the day you know and health and fitness is key you know without your health you have nothing the people don't some people don't get this 
if you ain't healthy, your life ain't worth shit. <laughs> like, I ain't even trying to like sugarcoat it. I'm being straight honest. If you ain't healthy, whatever you're doing is pointless because one, you're going to die young. You know, you're going to live to enjoy whatever you're working hard for. You know what I mean? So take care of your body and your mind and understand that this, this journey, you know, it's going to take you time and you have to be patient with it. Like I was telling you, the six weeks diets and all that stuff, it doesn't work. It lasts for a short period, dies out. Whereas if you take your time, get to learn your body, get to learn food, you know, understand, you know, get, find like if you're a morning person or a night person, you know, how does your body react to certain exercises and stuff like that. Just take your time to learn about you, you know, which leads me on to my top tip. Tip number five. Tip number five. Do it for you. You in you. I mean, you're talking about you. Do it for you, no one else. It don't, I don't care if it's your girlfriend, your wife, your brother, your mother, your father, nobody but you. Because without that, if you don't do it for you, it's not going to last long. You know, if you're doing it for other people, trying to make other people happy, you know, people have been calling you, they say calling you fat and saying all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. Yes, you can use all that as fuel, you know, like take it in, embrace it that, you know what, I'm gonna prove these people wrong. You know, but ultimately I'm doing it for myself. That has to be the key or it, it won't last. You know what I mean? If you're doing it for, to impress a girl, you know, once you get that girl, boom, you're going to back down. You just, it's, that's just, a, that's why you see all these memes, you know, I'm um, single, looking all buff and everything in a relationship, looking, you know, looking all fat and chubby and whatnot, which is not true. You know, that's just, it's not true. You know, I'm in a relationship. I've been in a relationship for the last two years. At the end of the day, if you're doing it for yourself, you'll keep doing it for yourself regardless of your situation. This is definitely my top tip. You need to be doing it for yourself and nobody else. I don't care. Like, do it for you and you will see results. You know, the moment you're in tune and say, yeah, oh, this is for me, you know, ain't nobody gonna get in your way. This is why I don't have a gym partner. Um, why? You know, it's not even about being big headed. I just, cause obviously the commitment that I have to the gym, I just don't feel like no one else that I know, you know, is, commit, as, is as committed to the gym as I am. And I don't want to put my, you know, I don't want to have that or go rely on having a gym partner. Like if they don't go to the gym, I'm not going to go to the gym. No, no, <laughs> you know, so that's why I don't have a gym partner mainly. Um, but if I did live in the UK, I would definitely have a gym partner. My boy Lee, you know, he's very dedicated to the gym um, and we push each other to the limit. Um, again, again, if you're a beginner, I would advise you to get someone that's advanced, you know, someone that's, 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 that you know is committed to the gym and is a good friend of yours, you know, ask him if you can go to the gym with him. I'm, I'm sure they won't say no. So if you have someone in your life that's very dedicated to the gym and fitness and all that stuff, try and use them as a, as a mentor and to guide you, to help you, you know what I mean? Just ask him. I'm sure they'll say yes. It's like me, you know, when people in here and Denmark ask me, Musa, can we go to the gym? I'm like, yeah, let's go. You know what I mean? I'm not saying I'm gonna make him a gym partner, but if they ask me to go to the gym with them, I'll go, you know what I mean? I like training with people, I'm not gonna lie to you, I like training and having people there, you know, just to talk to and, you know, give each other like, that, the extra reps is very important, you know what I mean? So there's pros and cons to obviously training alone, because you can't, you know, get that spotter, you know, to hit the numbers, you know, get that extra two, three reps. That's the downside to it. Um, and then when you have a spotter, there's also a downside to it as well. When you have a gym partner, if that gym partner, if you're one of them ones that's reliant on your gym partner, if they wake up and say, okay, I don't feel like going to the gym today, you don't end up going, you know what I mean? So it's like, if one slacks, the other's gonna slack as well, which shouldn't be the case. If your gym partner doesn't go, still get your ass in the gym. You know what I mean? Um, so there's downsides to both, but, ultimately you need to be doing it for yourself so that is it for my peoples my beginners um people just looking into get into fitness those are my top five tips hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you would like to see more videos like this where i'm just talking to you and just giving you my advice please let me know in the comments section and if you ain't already subscribed to mr loves fitness subscribe <laughs> put a notification on and i will try and keep getting this content out to you love life that's what i live by man love life okay we out catch you in the next video peace